how I stay fit in my 50s. So I just turned 50 back in November. And one of the most popular questions I get is, Heather, how do you stay so fit? So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing what I eat and what I do in terms of exercise and fitness in order to stay fit and healthy. And really, it's more about how I feel, like I feel energized, I feel good in my body. And so I'm excited to share all of these tips with you. I'm actually gonna be sharing seven tips that I have been practicing for probably at least 10 years now, maybe like 15 years that really work and they really do help me stay fit and stay healthy. I wanna thank Halara for sponsoring this video. Halara is an amazing athleisure brand. They offer the most gorgeous athleisure, the most luxurious looking athleisure, the most comfortable athleisure clothes I have ever put on my body, no joke. And everything is super affordable, even though it is high quality. You guys, the fabrics are insane, like seriously, so soft. They feel so good on my body. They're stretchy, they're comfortable. I do yoga in them. But then I'm also gonna be sharing a couple of outfits that are like you know, travel looks, or if you're gonna go run errands, or if you're just gonna go like to a casual Sunday brunch. So these athleisure outfits that I'm gonna be sharing in this video, along with the health tips, of course, are both, you know, like everyday looks and also workout looks. Another thing I love about Halera is they offer a wide variety of sizes. They even offer petites. So at least one pair of the joggers that I'm gonna show y'all in this video, the brown ones specifically are my all-time favorite, and those are the petite size, and they fit me perfectly. I am five foot four, and a lot of times with joggers, what happens to me is they're too long, and so I love the fact that these are not too long. Everything I show you in this video, all of the outfits will be linked down below in my description box and you guys will get 15% off all full priced items and you will get $10 off if you spend over $100. The codes will be also down below in my description box. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one that helps me stay fit and hopefully these things will also help you stay fit and healthy is I drink a protein shake or I eat protein in the morning around 10 or 11 o'clock because I believe that the size I am is definitely directly related to what I eat, way more than how much I work out, a thousand percent. I believe that what I eat is at least 80 to 85% of the reason I am the size that I am. I know this because I used to not work out. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I didn't really work out. I would walk every once in a while, but I was also this size back then. Even after two children, I was this size and I wasn't working out. Now, I'm not saying I'm promoting not working out because I believe that working out is obviously very important. But again, the point I'm trying to make is that the size you are has way more to do with what you put in your mouth than how much you work out. So that's why I'm gonna talk quite a bit about what I eat in this video. So like I said, in the morning, I either eat a protein shake, which I did share in a previous fitness video. I will be linking that exact recipe down below in my description box. I make it with a Nutripullet. I add protein powder. I love this vanilla vegan protein powder. I've been using it for like a couple of years now. It's amazing and it's so important, ladies, that you're getting enough protein in your diet. I know that I struggled with this. So eating a high protein breakfast around 10 or 11 a.m. for me is super important. I eat after I do yoga or I work out or I walk because that's just what feels better to my body. So I'm really trying to also really listen to my body. So again, the protein shake has got coconut water, bananas, blueberries, spinach, um, ice cubes, cinnamon, turmeric. So there's all these amazing things that really sort of level out your blood sugar and also the high protein is very important. It's gonna help you stay full longer throughout the day. It's also just gonna give you energy and make you feel like the best version of yourself. I know it does me. Now on the days that I get sick of the protein shake because I do, let's be honest, I don't wanna eat the same thing every day for breakfast, I will make eggs or I will eat bacon with like a piece of, you know, gluten-free bread with almond butter on it. Sometimes I will eat peanut butter. Um, you know, I will do blueberries, bananas. Sometimes I'll do, you know, even a small bowl of grape nuts. So if I'm gonna eat carbs, it's gonna be in the beginning portion of the day, but mostly my diet consists of like the paleo diet, right? So protein, vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, things like that. I'd really try to stay away from 
a lot of carbs and a lot of sugar. Now, do I eat carbs every once in a while? Of course. Do I eat sugar every once in a while? Of course, because believe you me, I have the biggest sweet tooth in the entire world. So I will grab like a couple of chocolate covered almonds after dinner. Sometimes I'll have a chocolate chip cookie. Sometimes I will have a small piece of pie. Like, yes, I do eat dessert. That's my only vice, I would say, when it comes to eating. And so it's all about balance. It's not like you have to eat perfectly 100% of the time. No, do I eat like this 100% of the time? No, but do I eat clean and like this about 80 to 85% of the time? Yes, and so that's the important thing is just to really find a balance. So the first outfit I wanna talk about by Hilara is this really cool brown jacket. I'm wearing this right now. It also comes in black, which I will be featuring later on in my video. You guys, this jacket, is very high quality. I love this gorgeous rich brown shade. It's also very affordable. I'm pretty sure it's like under $50. So what a steal for such a cool jacket. It also has this drawstring waistband, which you can sort of cinch it, which makes it very flattering. It's like lightweight. It's great for travel, but it's also great to wear like to yoga or to work out in just over your workout clothes. I paired it with a simple white tank. And then you guys, these are some amazing joggers from Hilara. Like seriously, the material, it's like black and it's ribbed. It's very small. These are wrinkle-free. They're so comfortable. They have pockets in them. They have a drawstring waist. And I love the fit. These are not like super form-fitting, but they're also not overly baggy, which a lot of joggers are like way too baggy and they're not flattering. So what I love about Hilara joggers is they're all extremely flattering because of the fit. And these come in a wide array of colors. You can order them in different sizes. Like I said, they also offer a wide array of sizes. This material is honestly like so high quality. It reminds me of like Lululemon. However, it doesn't have the price tag of Lululemon. In fact, I'm traveling in a couple of months with my daughter to the Bahamas, and this will be my travel look because I think it's chic and stylish, but it's also very comfortable. All right, tip number two, and I kind of touched on this a little bit ago, but I eat paleo. Basically in the morning, I'll have a high protein breakfast, either the protein shake or like eggs and bacon and some fruit. And then I will have like a salad with protein on it, like chicken or salmon um, for dinner. And then throughout the day, I will snack on nuts. I will snack on protein bars. I will snack on fruit. I will snack on a veggie tray with like hummus or something like that. Another one of my favorite snacks is celery with almond butter or peanut butter or an apple with peanut butter or almond butter on it. That's pretty much what I eat in a given day, but I really only eat when I'm hungry and I honestly only eat two meals a day. So I will eat around 10 or 11 my breakfast and then I will eat dinner around five or 6 p.m. with snacks in between. The reason I eat dinner so early, I'm gonna get to that in a moment, but obviously do I do this seven days a week? No, do I do this four to five days a week? Yes because this is what works for me. On the nights that I go out, maybe I have a date or I go out with my girlfriends, I obviously will eat dinner after five or six o'clock, but on the days that I'm staying at home, and usually that's four or five nights a week, I try to eat dinner at five or 6 p.m. and I don't eat after that. So these are some amazing brown joggers, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love these joggers. These are also from Hilara. Obviously, this is a beautiful, rich brown shade, but they do come in multiple colors. This is the petite sizing. So I think the size on these joggers is extra small petite, and I am five foot four, like I mentioned, and they're the perfect length. But you guys, this is my favorite piece of all the pieces I'm gonna share with you today. These joggers, hands down, my favorites. Why? Because the fit is so flattering, y'all. Like seriously, they hug your curves in all the right places. These are kind of like a cross between a legging and a jogger, which is why I love them so much. And they literally feel like you're wearing butter on your skin because they're so soft and so comfortable. They are high-waisted, they have a really cool drawstring. And like I said, they come in a multitude of colors. And because I love them so much, I'm honestly gonna order these in like three or four different colors because they're that good. You could travel in these, you could work out in these, you can just run errands in these. Like as you can see, they're extremely chic and stylish. But again, they're so comfortable and they're also so affordable. And that's another thing I love about Halara is they offer affordable pieces, but they're actually high quality. 
And I just went with their black workout tank. You guys, I love the back of this workout tank. It's got a really cool sort of strappy, sexy vibe to it. This workout tank is so comfortable. It does have padding in the chest area, but I'm pretty sure you could take the pads out if you wanted to. I actually just worked out at the Y this morning and I wore this black workout top. It was so perfect. My boobs didn't move around. It sort of held everything in place, but it was also very, very comfortable. And then I just topped it with that really cool black jacket, very lightweight, great material, very high quality. Again, this jacket cinches around the waist, so it's actually very flattering. I know it's just gonna be a jacket I'm gonna wanna grab every time I work out or if I'm just like gonna be super casual. This is gonna be my go-to jacket. Okay, tip number three, I do intermittent fasting. I have done this for probably I don't know, seven or eight years now, and I love it. It keeps me energized, and I really do think it is a big reason I am the size that I am. So like I said, I eat dinner around five or 6 p.m., and then I won't eat anything again until 10 or 11 the next day. This allows my body to go in a, I think it's called a ketosis state, meaning it's gonna raise my metabolism, it's going to raise my immune system, um, it's gonna help me sleep better. Like also, this is what I notice. If I eat dinner late, then I will not sleep that well. Also alcohol, and I'm gonna talk about that in a moment, so I won't get on my high horse right now about alcohol, but I try not to drink as well because that always affects my sleep. So I love intermittent fasting. I wake up, I'm hungry. That's how I know I'm doing a good job. If I wake up and I'm really hungry, that's good. That means my body's wanting the nutrients. And then when I feed myself, I feel energized, I feel good. My mood is better as well. So I just am really a big fan of intermittent fasting. Again, I've been doing it for like seven or eight years and I think it really works wonders. So another way to style those amazing brown joggers, since this was my favorite piece from Hilera, is with just a simple white tank and a denim jacket. You guys, how cute is this look? Like perfect for traveling, perfect for running errands. I topped it with a really cool baseball hat. It says LA on it. It's like tan and white, so such a neutral color. It literally goes with everything. And I just think this outfit is perfect. I'm just gonna be running errands later today, like going to the grocery store. I have to go by the pet store for my sweet new baby. Dolce, he was just scratching to get up with me and make this video with me. So this is the exact outfit that I'm gonna be wearing today while I run my errands and I absolutely love it. Again, you guys, these brown joggers are my absolute faves and I think you will love them as much as I do. All right, tip number four, I try to move my body every single day. So here's what I do for my workout regimen. The best workout that I do, my absolute favorite one, and if I could only pick one thing to do, it would be Bikram hot yoga. I have been practicing this yoga for a good 15, 16 years, and literally it changed my life. It has been proven to lower anxiety, to lower depression, and the reason is this. It is about 105 degrees and you stay in this room for 90 minutes. I know it sounds like a lot. I know it sounds hard and it is, but it gets easier the longer you do it. So about halfway through the practice, your body temperature reaches 101.3, if I'm not mistaken, okay? And when your body temperature reaches 101.3, they actually did a research study on this, and that is the exact moment that your anxiety and depression start to go down. And your body remains at this high temp for probably another good 20 or 30 minutes throughout this 90 minute Bikram series of 26 poses. So that's why I feel so calm. That's why I feel so happy when I leave Bikram because literally it's like taking an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety drug, but you don't have to take any medicine. Obviously you just practice this yoga. Also it's moving your body. So you're really getting this energy out it's mood lifting. I feel like a million bucks every time I do Bikram yoga and I do this three days a week religiously because that's how good it makes me feel. On the other two days, I do body pump up at the YMCA. It's an hour long class where I lift light weights. And I know it's important, you know, now that I'm 50 years old, I've been told by several different doctors, like it's important that you continue to lift weights because as we age, you know, our muscles sort of atrophy and our bone density isn't as good than when we are younger. I also have osteoporosis in my hips. And so this is very important for me to lift weights. Again, these are light weights, you guys. I'm not lifting heavy, like crazy weights. I'm just doing like 
two days a week of light weights and it's amazing. On the other day or two, I just walk. I get up, I go on a walk, I walk with my friends sometimes, I'll walk alone sometimes. It's also very therapeutic, but I can't tell you how important it is to move your body. And again, this has more to do with how it makes me feel than how it makes me look. And I get it, if you can't work out five or six days a week, totally understandable, but try it for maybe three days a week and just see how you feel because I guarantee you'll feel better if you get up and just move your body. So like I said, I went to the Y this morning and I worked out and this is the exact outfit I wore. These are some green leggings by Hilera and I love these green leggings because they dip down in the front. So I think it's very sort of tastefully sexy. They are high-waisted though. So they're gonna make your legs look crazy long. You guys, this fabric, so soft so comfortable, like so high quality. I cannot believe these are so reasonably priced. They're also very, I know they're also gonna be very long lasting because I've read all the reviews. So I know these leggings will last like probably a couple of years. I paired them with that same black tank and then the same black jacket, which I'm really loving this combination. In fact, I walked into class today and someone was like, oh my gosh, I love your workout outfit. I really love that olive green and black color combination. So this is a great workout look, perfect for doing yoga or lifting weights or even just going on a walk. All right, tip number five, and I might get a little pushback from this one, but here it is. I'm just gonna be honest, minimal alcohol intake, okay? For me, if I drink alcohol like more than once a week, it just really affects me. It affects my eating, it affects my sleeping, I don't feel good. It's also a depressant lady. So you probably know I went through a divorce over a year ago. It's been sort of hanging on and I've been going through attorneys and things like that. So it's been a really rough year for me. And what I noticed is when I drank alcohol, it would make me feel sad because it is a depressant. So I just decided, you know what? I'm not gonna drink alcohol as much. And I never really did. I've never really been a big drinker, honestly. I've only drank like maybe one or two nights a week my entire life. But yes, did I binge drink in college like, like most people did? Of course I did. But I don't do that anymore because it just makes me feel terrible. Like I said, if I have more than one drink or two drinks like more than once a week, I don't sleep well the night I drink. I will wake up the next morning and I will not want my high protein uh, breakfast. What I will want is a glazed donut and some waffles and some pancakes and some sausage. Like that's what I will want for breakfast. And so that's why I try to not drink as much alcohol because again, it doesn't make me feel good and it will also help me eat better if I don't drink as much alcohol. So I love to play pickleball. That's another thing. I also love to play tennis. And this is a great dress by Hilera. It's a beautiful teal blue shade. I love this color, but it does come in a wide variety of colors. This is so comfortable, you guys. Again, the material is so soft. The fit is impeccable. It's super slimming and super flattering. And I'm actually gonna go play some tennis with my son this weekend. And this is the exact dress I will be wearing. And I just absolutely love it. Again, the price point is amazing, but the quality is extremely high. All right, tip number six, and I touched on this a little bit earlier, but throughout the day, what I drink is either I'll have one cup of coffee in the morning, I drink it black, so I don't add sugar, I don't add any sort of dairy products like milk, I really try to stay away from dairy. So I will have my one cup of coffee in the morning, I will drink water throughout the day, and then for dinner, I will either have like a Waterloo or like a Perrier, something like that. Like I will have carbonated water, but I really love the kind that doesn't have any sugar in it because I do believe if you drink a lot of Cokes or Dr. Peppers, like that can definitely affect your weight more than anything. In fact, in high school, I played volleyball and I was drinking Cokes back then. I probably you know, was maybe five or 10 pounds heavier than I am now. My volleyball coach was like, listen girls, why don't y'all cut out Cokes all together? Just stop drinking Cokes or Dr. Peppers or whatever and see what happens. I did that and honestly, I lost five or six pounds within like one week. So honestly, if you're drinking Cokes or any sort of sugary carbonated beverages, I would cut those out all together. It definitely helped me. So here's another pair of leggings by Halara. I love these. These are some navy blue leggings, the same silhouette as the olive green ones. I wanted to show you guys another color combination, but again, I love the fact that these are high-waisted. The material is so incredibly soft. I'm gonna be going on a walk tomorrow morning with my good friend Katina, and I'm gonna be wearing this exact outfit. I have the same black workout top on and the same really cool lightweight jacket. 
Okay, tip number seven. This one is I eat when I'm hungry and I really do practice intuitive eating. So this basically means I'm in touch with my body. I'm in touch with when my body tells me that I'm hungry. And if I'm hungry at two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm gonna go grab a handful of nuts. If I'm hungry at four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm gonna go grab some celery and peanut butter. Like I'm never gonna deprive myself of eating. I'm always gonna eat when I'm hungry, but I'm just gonna try to make healthy choices because I do believe that it is important that you don't starve yourself. You know, I kind of struggled with an eating disorder maybe like borderline anorexia when i was in college i certainly wasn't eating enough and what i did back then before i worked out is i really restricted my calories and so now that i'm working out i don't have to do that i'm not i'm not like i don't calorie count i don't keep a diary of what i eat every day i just try to eat for the most part, like I said, 80 to 85% of the time, I try to make healthy eating choices. And when I'm hungry, I'll eat something. Now, will I go eat a donut or a cheeseburger? No, I will go eat, like I said, a handful of nuts, um, a, you know, a piece of fruit or something like that. So those are my seven tips on how I stay fit at 50. I hope this video resonated with you. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite tip was. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite Hilara piece was because I always love hearing from you guys. I wanna thank Hilara again for sponsoring this video. Don't forget about your discount. Again, everything that I wore in this video will be linked down below in my description box. For more style information, you can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com, and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope all of you have a beautiful day because you deserve it, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.